Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to talk a bit about an electrical cables that I used in domestic installations. I'm gonna explain how to calculate the size of the cable for each circuit in the house and also um, what fuse, what breaker to use uh, to protect the cable. So that's the cable, thermostatic insulated flat cable for domestic installations in the UK. I don't know, in different countries maybe you've got different uh, cables. Uh, basically, it's got three conductors in it, as you see, neutral the blue one, uh, line conductor the brown one, and the bare one is uh, the earthing conductor. So all the conductors have some resistance, there's some energy loss. So when the current flows to the conductor, they start in warming up, and if you choose uh, too small uh, cable for the design current, obviously they, they can be overheated. So I've got here three cables each different size, so this one is a 6 millimeters, this one is 2.5 millimeters and this one is 1.5 millimeters. And all the cables has got its own, depending on the size, its own rating. So th this, this is called a current, current capacity and for example the thick one, the 6 millimeter cable, the current, current capacity is a 47 amps we measure this in amps. The 2.5 is 27 amps and the 1.5 is 20 amps. And how do I know all of this? From the book, The Electrician's Guide to the Building Regulations um, but you can also find this on the internet, you have to just search a bit so on the page 24 there is a table, table 2.3.1 and this explains everything. So this table gives us uh, the rating of the cables, it depends obviously of the method of installation. So on this, on this side where the numbers are, you've got the here conductor cross-sectional area, basically the sizes of the conductors, the cables. 1.0, 1.5, 2.5, 4, 6, 10 and 16. So that's the sizes of the uh, cables. <clears throat> now on this side there's the installation reference method. So clip direct basically is the when you clip the cable directly to the wall and this is the rating for let's say 1 millimeter cable 16 amp. The 1.2, 1.5, 20 amp. 2.5, 27 amp, and so on. So the reference methods are few. Um, so the the rating of the cables I gave you is just for when they clip direct straight to the wall and don't touch any insulation. Um, so let's see the reference method 103. This is surrounded by thermal insulation completely. So basically from every side. <clears throat> So now look at the cable, uh, let's say 6 mil. When you clip direct to the wall, it's 47 amps the rating. But when you wrap it, when you put it into insulation and wrap it completely, so the rating falls down to 23.5 amps. And the rest of the reference methods are just variation of the uh, uh, installation with insulation. <clears throat> So basically, enclosing the conduit trunking on the wall, um, here is the uh, in contact with plaster board, uh, covered by thermal insulation, exceed, not exceeding 100 mil, in a stud wall, with thermal insulation, and so on, so on. So basically, when you clip direct the cable, the rating is very high. Uh, any of the other methods with contact the, with the insulation, the rating go, goes down. So very useful book um, and very useful table. So now I'd like to show you how to calculate the cable size for the design circuit. So let's say we have a cooker. And the power of the cooker is 10 kilowatt. 10 kilowatt is 10,000 watts. 
now to calculate the cable um, size we need amps not watts so we need to convert the watts into amps so basically 10,000 watts uh, you have to divide by the voltage which is in UK 230 volts and this gives us something about 43.47 so let's say 44 amps that's our cooker so now we need to choose the circuit breaker or fuse I draw it like this So let's say this is the circuit breaker. And this has to be at least equal or bigger than the um, cooker. So we can install 45 amp fuse or MCB. Now we need to uh, calculate the cable. So let's say that's the cable. And this, also the rating of the cable has to be at least equal or bigger than the rating of the fuse. So how we calculate it? We need to use this book again. So we know how we install it. Let's say we clip the direct to the wall. Uh, if we say that this has to be equal or bigger than 45 amps. So let's have a look at the first column. Uh, for 47 amps bigger than 45 so that's the size of the cable 6 millimeters so then we know that this cable should be 6 millimeters minimum as it's rated 47 amps so if you use the same cable uh, you install it for example and this touching the uh, insulation so then obviously the rating goes down uh, quite a bit and then you have to use the 10 millimeter cable so as you see these numbers are just minimum it's very close to the 44 amp that our cooker uh, uh, draw uh, so basically uh, I would suggest anyway to install it on 10 mil cable as the nobody uh, at home install it uh, by clipping it to the wall so basically 10, 10 mil cable would be much much better So that's the very basic calculation, but there are some other factors that you need to consider when choosing the right cable for the circuit. So installation, the first one is the installation method. So that's, that's what we were talking about, how, to, how you install the cable. Um, so we've done this. Now the ambient temperature. So basically that's the surrounding the temperature of the cable. Uh, don't install the cable uh, near boiler or near the radiator pipes as they can be easily overheated um, they just they cannot dissipate the heat when they warming up the grouping cables as well number three so basically when you install let's say five cables in a bunch um, somewhere in a wall so they they just just warming up they they can't give the heat outside as they just warming each other so you need to consider this and the uh, voltage drop so the voltage drop or voltage loss occurs in every circuit and it just depends on the length of the cable that's on the circuit and obviously uh, from the items or bulbs that are connected to the circuit so in here we've got the typical lighting circuit consumer unit let's say five rooms five light fittings with a bulb so at every point there's some uh, voltage loss at the beginning we've got 230 volts so there's voltage loss in every let's say meter of the cable so at the end it might appear that we've got the voltage only 220 volts so in UK the uh, allowable voltage drop for lighting circuits is 3% and for the general uh, power is a 5% so you need to consider this as well when choosing the cable basically a too long cable can cause 
uh, too much uh, voltage loss and then the bulbs will be flicking uh, or the items not working properly at the end. So for lighting circuits at home you use 1.0 mm cable uh, but if you've got uh, a large house and the, the one circuit serves a few rooms, kitchen, few bathrooms and other stuff so that, then I would consider to use 1.5 mm cable. This cable is a bit bigger and the voltage drop will be less. So there's a lot of things to consider when choosing the right cable uh, for the circuit but I'm gonna, to, to make life easier, I'm gonna give you a list of most common used uh, cable size and circuit breakers for each circuit in the house. So that's the list I was talking about and I leave it for a few minutes. Here we've got the circuits, the cable size and the uh, mini circuit breaker type B which is most common used in UK.